reports that tiny voice unleashed huge excitement across Panda Crazy Japan. Barely visible through night vision video monitors, Japan's 16th panda baby weighs in at just a few ounces, small enough to fit in the palm of a human. This is Japan's first panda baby in 25 years. Shinshin and her partner Riri helped lift the spirits of the Japanese after last year's earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear accident. Zoo officials say the six-year-old giant panda seen here feeding and cuddling her baby seemed made for motherhood. She's cute, she has big floppy ears, and Esty says she needs a name. Seminole County, Florida kids are coming up with names for this 12-week-old bloodhound puppy who's about to join the canine corps at the sheriff's office. From a list of 78 names, the choices have been whittled down to Amber, to be used for Amber Alerts, Ellie, because it sounds like the letters L-E, which is short for law enforcement, and Rosie, because she'll have the nickname Nosy Rosie. Whatever her name, she's replacing five-year-old Billy, who's about to sniff out a much-earned retirement. The animals and staff at Sydney's Taronga Zoo had feet, paws, flippers, whatever, covered in paint. It's called Make Your Mark, and all of the creations will be sold to help raise money for the zoo. Brian, the echidna, was lured by a sweet treat, while Mia, the seal, laid in the sun while a keeper took her print. From penguins to elephants, Esty said everyone made their mark. Lola reports on the attack of the giant spider in Chicago. Check out this shot at lunchtime. A spider is certainly interested in the spot in the middle. Hmm, could it be something tasty? Seems the spider decides to spare this would-be tasty morsel, but Spidey must have gotten home and was told to go right back out there and bring something to eat. This meal apparently was to go. Finally, this cat apparently wanted a little airtime. Esty wants you to check out what happened to this reporter while she was live on the air. I'm Nicole DiDonato, live in East Town, and those details coming up. After this happened, the reporter tweeted, learned by lesson, never make eye contact with a cat before a live shot. Animals on the news, Esty finds that absurd. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds.